Good evening, everyone. We've been rocking through this 2018 Upper Deck Goodwin Champion, so thanks, everybody. This is four box, random letter four. This is first name, first letter. Random first name, first letter break. So for Ben Simmons right here, it'll be for B, obviously. Not S, B for Ben. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. Oh, be sure to watch video one. I, I do a longer explanation on record, on the record, on wax, as they say. So if you want a better explanation of what... What, in, what is involved with those letters, go check out video one. Big thanks to these folks for getting involved in this one. There are your first name, first letters. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Uh, three and a four, seven times. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then final time. After seven times, Ashley on the poll. Paul Nixon in the 14 spot. And then seven times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got R on top and W and V on the bottom. All right, so Ashley with R, James, H, and Y, Bruce with L, F, Paul with M, whose, whose name starts with M, Philip with C and G, Ed with D, Bruce with B, Bruce, B for Bruce, obviously, Regimel with T and N with your last spot mojo, Aaron, you got J, Megan, K and E, John with P and O, Ashley with S, whose name starts with S, Shohei Otani, Ed with A and Z, Paul with W and V. Let's order these alphabetically. Now, in all honesty, those those big names like Ben Simmons, Michael Jordan, Shohei Otani, Tiger Woods, those autographs are really hard to hit. We were looking at the odds. In fact, I'll drop the checklist for you guys here. That's from CardboardConnection.com. That's organized pretty nicely. So you can see all the different odds and uh, how difficult it actually is to get some of these things. And if you're like, you're like Joe, who, if Phillip's like, Joe, who the, what, what's C and G? Who the hell's in there for first name C? First name G. Look at the checklist. There's like a ton of stuff in here, so you never know what you can get. Any trades? These are the four boxes right here. You can collect Jungle Book stuff. Collect that guy. So for like these 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 cards right here, we're just gonna go by C. I think for these uh, all the Franklin Delano Roosevelt cards, we'll go to um, we'll go to F. For FDR instead of the name of the card, for stuff like this, like the uh, the old P51 Mustang, it's just gonna it's gonna go by N, North American P51 Mustang, etc. 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 All right, looks like no trade. So let's print, let's rip. Good luck, everyone. The next four boxes are in the store, and the next four boxes will be from a fresh uh, inner case from a fresh master case. So check it out, jazpiecehobbyland.com. I think we're down to 12 spots on that already. All right, here's the official printout. On the 5th, new release day, Wednesday. Thanks for making this a very great Wednesday, folks. We've seen a lot of interesting stuff in this Goodwin Champions. I'm a fan of it. It's a quirky set. But even some of these, like, if you get, like, a, a short printed Jungle Book card or something like that, though, you'd be surprised at how much some of those things go for on a secondary market. All right, good luck, everyone. This is Goodwin Champions number four from jazpiecehobbyland.com. This is the last four box of the master case that we popped open, so... 
Thanks for helping us work through that first master case, ladies and gentlemen. If I was ever in a uh, speed pack ripping contest, I would not use Goodwin Champion. Ultimate Collection Hockey. Man, if I had stacks of these, I could, I could, those open smooth. But, harder the squeeze, sweeter the juice, ladies and gentlemen. And there's a lot of good, good juice inside this Goodwin Champions. All right, good luck, everyone. Wow, nice. Now, in the previous break, we found a Tier 6 Canine Companion for uh, for Jason G. Um, and he said he found another Tier 6 one that sold for 800 or on eBay for $800. The Border Collie, wow. And our first autograph is Matthias. Nice. BMX guy going to M for Paul Nixon. There you go. Ah, uh, from France. So that's Matthias Dandois, I think. Dandois. <laughs> and I love these uh, these wood minis as well. That's Max Weinberg, another M for Paul Nixon. Wow, so those canine companion cards, I mean, they could sell for a lot. So there you go. You can get an idea of how some of those short prints could do on a secondary market. That's Roy, Roy, Rory Wagner's wife, Ashley Wagner. It's not really his wife. Same name, though. <laughs> and we've got a canine companion. Irish Terrier. From the Terrier set, of course. Um, let's see what the... I think the Irish Terrier is still Tier 1, though. Yeah, still Tier 1, but that goes to I. And that will be for... There's no I on this. No I. So any letters that aren't represented on this list will be randomized to one person as one lot. That's good. Nice Serena Williams. And there's Jacob R. Down. What is what is what is this Jacob all about? What's up, Vanilla Gorilla? Yes, Upper Deck Goodwin Champions is sort of like it's sort of like um, that goes to Jay Aaron Oba. It's sort of like Allen and Ginter baseball, but without the baseball part. It's just literally like just a wild collection of everything: tennis players, race car drivers, you know, and obviously they they mix in their exclusive guys like Tiger Woods and Ben Simmons and Michael Jordan. A lot of their hockey stuff in there too so yeah it's a little bit of everything it's kind of crazy but i like it Could I get a Muhammad Ali autograph? I, I don't know if that if he is on the checklist. 
And you can get Tiger Woods, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Ben Simmons. Those are the main, those are the big names. Super short printed though. Michael Jordan's one out of every around 200,000 packs. You could get a Michael Jordan autograph. Like, for example, in the previous break, we pulled one of these uh, manufactured patch dog cards, but it was really short printed. And Jason, the, the, the person that got it, saw, said he saw a similar one in the same tier, you know, on eBay selling, or not selling, but guys, guys asking $800. It'll probably go for 500 bucks. Could go for 800 I don't know. Some dog lover who was like, I, I want to, I want to complete the tier six flying dog set. Could pay a premium. The, the dog tier, tier one terrier, tier two hound, tier three herding dogs, tier four non-sporting dogs, tier five toy dogs, and tier six are flying dogs. I think dogs that can. They can run like the wind or maybe leap into the air to catch a frisbee, do tricks and whatnot. I think the only two dogs in the flying dog category is the Border Collie and Jack Russell Terrier. No pugs this year, folks. Last year was last year they had a couple pugs. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. Well, we've got something right on the top here. We've got, oh, I love these maps. Where are we going this time? We're going to Country Carry Ireland, Dunquin Pier. Nice. Let's see how short printed this is. So that goes to uh, D. That'll be for Ed Aarons. Ed, have you been to Ireland? Dunquin Pier, perhaps. One out of every 439 packs. Got a bit of the mapping in there, too. It's pretty cool. Nice. Now uninhabited Bla Blasket Islands. What happened there? Are the Blasket Islands where they where they filmed parts of uh, the Luke Skywalker scenes in the in the new Star Wars movies? Oh, an autograph of, of Kyle Troop. K. That goes to Megan. Oh, now you and Bruce have this guy who who bowls all weird. Two hand, a two-hander. Kind of odd. Not sure if I'm okay with that. Now we've got Nico Lateros. That's a wood mini. Those are a little more common. I think one out of every 20 packs, one out of every box or so. Letter N, that goes to Regimel, Last Bot Mojo. He uses two hands. I guess he kind of does look like a ri Richard Simmons type, huh? He's pretty fired up there. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is terrifying. What is happening here? One happy family. Mixed human and cybernetic families. They're predicting 20, 2176. Not sure how I feel about that. Call me old fashioned, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm prepared. 
if I'm prepared to be one happy family with a uh, with a machine. That goes to O, John Mortolaro with O, one happy family. What happened here? Did we not go through these cards? All right. Next box. It's going to be an issue, ladies and gentlemen, in the future. You know, when, when, when Nightbot gains, gains his own, own flesh and blood body, what kind of discrimination will there be against cyborgs? Against those kind of, of, of those bots? How will sports change? Will we allow... You know, if if you are if you are if, three, if a quarter of your body is made of mechanical parts, will that be commonplace enough where it wouldn't matter? Would made would professional sports allow it? Oh, you're too you're too much you're more machine than man. You can't be in the league. That'll be that, those issues. What if your son or daughter comes home with a robot? So yeah, we're in love. We want to start one happy family. And you're like, whoa. It's like, I don't know about that. And it'll be like, ah, you're, dad, you're so old fashioned. Everyone dates robots now. Come on. <laughs> so old fashioned. Can't believe you're so ignorant, dad. You got to open your eyes, man. I'm in love with this robot. And he's in love with me. Be like, robots can't love. That's what they all say. See? Drama, right? That'll, that'll be things we'll have to worry about a couple hundred years from now. Maybe even, I don't know, with the way technology exponentially grows. <laughs> Todd's like, it'd be awesome to program my kids to be nice and respectful. Your kids are pretty nice and respectful, I thought. Or was that just for show, Todd? Met Todd and, and his girls at the National a year or so ago. Seemed nice and respectful. That could be, that could just, could have just been a show. Just to, just to con people. Make their father look crazy. No, they're, they're, they're awful. We're like, that. they look fine to me, Todd. No, they're, I'm telling you, they're crazy. My kids are just wild. It's just for show. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> you gave you gave them the whip to make sure it's like you be good when you go into this card convention. All right, <laughs> those heathens, those Hellcats. Those are Todd's kids, Hellcats. All right. Let's move on. Whoa, look at this. Richie Ramon autograph. And almost, uh, that's a cool pen that he almost didn't look like an autograph. It looked like a facsimile. But no, Ashley, Richie Ramon. Blue ink autograph. Nice. There he is again, the two-handed bowler. Weird. I, I'm not sure if I'm into that. Again, call me old-fashioned, but... I'm not prepared to accept human-on-robot love. I'm not prepared to see two-handed bowling. Just getting older, folks. That's what it is. Rory's wife, Ashley Wagner.
Oh, we've got another map card coming up, folks. Where are we traveling to next? We're going all the way to... We're going all the way to... Nice. Pebble Beach. If you've never been here, folks, beautiful. I've, I've, I've never actually been on the golf course. I heard it's nice. I don't golf. I should. I want to. I should learn. Never golf there, but I've driven through there and around that central California coast area. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And you got these cypress trees that are like hanging off the crags, cliff crags. It's fantastic. Pebble Beach. Let's see how short printed Pebble Beach is. Pebble Beach is, that's a little common. It's one out of, five, one out of uh, 153 packs. But still nice for letter P. John Mortolaro. The beaches there, they actually have, it's actually a pebbled beach. They're all like small, tiny, soft stones instead of the fine sand that we're used to in sand beaches. And they actually have tiny little pebbles. All super smooth. And then we've got you, Louis, I think. Lee? I butchered that. Sorry. That goes to letter Y. That goes to James. Need to watch more LPGA. All right, there you go. And there's Richard Moan right there. Very cool. All right, final box of this break. This is a uh, random letter number four from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We're going to go through some orders after this. I see a handful of orders coming in, and we'll see what we will do next. Nothing else is filled up after this, but it looks like Prime Cuts Baseball is inching closer and closer with a big team off the board, TJ is reporting. He's saying that there's seven left in Prime Cuts Baseball, 2016 edition. And he's saying that the Dodgers are gone, which I think was the, the most expensive team of the teams remaining. I think it might be the most expensive team in the break itself. So if they're gone, that should be a big help, ladies and gentlemen. All right, last one of this one. Um, yeah, Rex, I think in break three, we, we got the, uh, we got a tier six canine companion card, the manufactured dog patch, which was a Jack Russell Terrier with a, with a Frisbee in his mouth in, 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 in captured in mid catch. Very short printed. I think one out of every 7,000 or so packs person that got it looked up some other ones and said another tier six someone was uh was trying to get 800 for it asking 800 come on packs so yeah i'm sure that jack russell terrier could go for around that price as well three four five hundred bucks around there All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. And a hit right on top. Behind Jacob is... Oh, uh, that looks like a fox. A Canaan dog. 
A herding dog, herding dogs are a little more shorter printed. One out of every 533 packs, tier three. There you go. The cannon dog, that goes to C. That'll be for Philip. There you go, Philip. Nice. So he does herding, guarding, that's what he does. Nice. And an autograph, Phil Pritchard. There's Phil Pritchard, letter P. Going to John Amortolaro. Nice. There's uh, Rory's wife, Rory Wagner's wife, Ashley. There she is. That goes to Ed and the letter A. That's the wood, uh, the wood minis. JMV saying Trevor Story just hit, just hit his third homer of the night. Wow. Can't wait for the Dodgers to get to Colorado. Uh, that's going to be a good series. No Kenley Jansen. So let's see how the Dodgers bullpen handles it. And, and wow, TJ saying that that Trevor Story home run is the longest in StatCat history at 505 feet. Wow, and JMV saying that the that the air is heavy here with rain all day. I gotta watch the video of that afterwards. And Jay Apt. Nice the astronaut. Going to Jay with going to Aaron. And that should be it. Let's see if we have any other maybe low number cards, maybe a bonus hit or an extra hit or something like that at the end. So, now we got our three, so let's see if there's anything bonusy here. Nope, doesn't look like it. But a very nice break in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we didn't have an I, so this canine companion will be randomized to one person in the break. So let's go back to the list. Let's get Ed's name down to Paul. Let's randomize that list with some new dice. Four and a two, six times. Name on top gets the bonus relic. One, two, three, four. Five and sixth and final time after six times. John, there you go. John Mortolaro with that one. After six times, you get this bonus tier one canine companion card. Look at that guy. Pretty cute Irish Terrier. Doing his Terrier thing. Making it happen. A messenger and Sentinel. Very good. I appreciate that, Irish Terrier. Thank you for your service. All right, there you go. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye.